the UFOs, whatever they are, had their own reasons to be there, their own programs, and they couldn't care less whether Moscow liked it or not. It sounds like a tabloid headline, but the question is a valid one. Did UFOs almost trigger an accidental nuclear war in 1982? The incident in question occurred in south-central Ukraine on the evening of October 4th, according to official depositions from Soviet military units and interviews with one of the officers in charge of the investigation. There were multiple witnesses to the event, which took place between 7.30 and 9.37 p.m., and many of them were Soviet military officers and personnel stations at long-range nuclear missile base in Usovo near Belo Korovice. The depositions describe nighttime unidentified lights performing acrobatics in the sky over several villages around the missile base. That, in itself, is not particularly worrisome as the reports don't indicate any sign of hostility from the lights. But what happened at an underground bunker of military unit MU 52035, the one which contained nuclear missiles, launch control panels, is another matter entirely. Retired Air Force Colonel Boris Sokolov told ABC TV News Moscow correspondent David Enser, quote, for a short time, signal lights on both the control panels suddenly turn on, the lights showing that missiles were preparing for launching. This could normally only happen if an order was transmitted from Moscow, end quote. As director of the Ministry of Defense's effort for, quote, research into the field of anomalous phenomena in the atmosphere and in outer space, end quote, Sokolov became a member of the four-man commission set up to investigate the so-called Usovo case. That was back in the early 80s when the missile targets were located in America. Former KGB director Yuri Andropov was general secretary and Ronald Reagan was denouncing the USSR as, quote, the evil empire, end quote. The missile base was closed in the early 90s with the end of the Cold War and Ukraine is now an independent Independent country. We have the official deposition of Major M. Davidovich Kataman, senior assistant of the commander of the military unit 52035's communication service, in charge of the computerized control panels for the long range nuclear missiles at Dusovo Bay. Major Kataman did not see the UFO flying above because he was, at the time, on shift in the underground bunker. But what he did see was, quote, the stuff of nightmares, end quote, in his line of work. Major Kataman wrote in his deposition that, quote, on the 4th of October 1982, at 2137, I observed spontaneous illumination of all displays figure indicators as in the regime light marks at first push on the information board, end quote. Confusing as this sounds and the difficulties of translation notwithstanding, the major is implying that someone or something was apparently manipulating the series of precise control codes for spaces and control code combination which regulate the computerized missile control launch panel. His deposition added that, quote, testing of apparatus and measurement of parameters according to technical map 1 30 show no defect. The apparatus was functioning normally, end quote. That is, before and after the strange illumination of all displays. For more